Hello everybody and welcome back to Witchwood, where I have realised I have been a very silly she-lab. So, uh, we are going to head. <laughs> I've realised something that I've not done. And I think it's uh, what is making me stuck. I, I went away and I thought about it. I thought about it and I was like, hang on. Did I ever actually properly look with my with my witch's eye at the spindle so let's go back to is it the village i think it's a it's a village of the marketplace i can't remember which as usual but i think that might be why i don't have this restorative doll thing i think i was in a bit of a because it was right at the end of the episode the episode before last i think it was a bit of a hurry about it but that's fine because we spent all that time getting the fish's stuff done but yeah, if you could take me to the secret grove, that would be great, Mr. Gargoyle. And we'll just see if my little witch's eye. Weaknesses, restorative idol. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, come out. <laughs> right, so that is the key to getting everything, everything done. Oh my goodness me. So what do we need to make a restorative idol? Many things that I already have and some things that I don't. So, uh, mending poultice. I should be able to make two of those quite easily. Um, and then what was it? It was a... Necromantic charm. Oh, no! No, we've got to do the pump jacks again, which means we need a snag vine snare, which means we need a sewing kit. That's okay, because I actually preemptively got some of those needle noses, which is wonderful. Oh, did I make two sewing? I made two sewing kits. Oops. Okay, so. <laughs> Snagvine. I'm sure I need one by the end of this. Um, and then a couple of these guys. Okay, right, let's uh, head back and then we'll go to the field and we'll get some pumpkin jacks. And then what else was it we needed for the doll? Oh no, it was just that, okay. Yep, to the fields then. Oh, but we need two restorative dolls. So I'm gonna need two of everything, aren't I? So we're gonna need four of those. I will need the two sewing kits because I'll need two snag vines. Um, what else was it? Oh, plenty. Oh, we need one more of those. I've been chasing those mandrakes around for ages. I've finally got a use for them. Yes. Oh, they're the ones from the graveyard. But yeah, still. I've been digging them up for ages. So I need two necromantic charms. Let's see, make sure I've got enough stuff. So I need two pumpkin jacks. Bones, but I've got two snag vines to get them with, so that's fine. Oh, no, it's over this way, isn't it? I'm trying to find the fast travel point. Which I never think is as far left as it is. So we are going to the fields, and we are going to go and find pumpkin jacks. I'm really glad that uh, it was just me. I, I was almost certain that I missed something. And I'm really glad it was me being silly and not some kind of bug. Because I would have cried if I got this far through and there was a bug. But it was just me being silly, so thank goodness. Mind you, I couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't until I sort of went away from the game for a bit and was just sort of mulling it over in my mind. I was like, oh, the one thing I hadn't done was look with my witch's eye on that spinning wheel and as soon as I thought that I was like I'm almost 100% certain that's what it is because obviously if you look at the um at the rats one I mean maybe actually but I think that that I don't think that um pressing g on the destroyed portrait oh it might have done it might have done. I'll never know now actually but uh, maybe that would have given me the restorative idol as well if I'd have pressed g on that but I didn't do that either so yeah, I need to remember to use my witch's eye a lot more. Don't let me forget that, chat. 
Although you probably were sat throughout the whole of the last episode where I was just... Sometimes I like to go and do another thing while I'm thinking about a thing. But I'm recording this like a little bit ahead, so you guys were probably in the last episode like... You forgot to do that. You might even have been like that at the end of the episode before, but... I haven't checked the comments from that yet, <laughs> so... I had to think of it for myself, but I did, and it's fine. Engineer! Give me your bones! And then was it a hatchet? Give me your bones! They have quite the scream, don't they? Okay, so I've got two bones. That should allow me to make two necromantic charms. It should allow me to make two dolls. The fact that I left those till the end, though, kind of does mean all oh, sticks. You can never have too many sticks. Um, does mean that I may I was able to sort of kill two birds with one stone and do them both at once, which is quite nice. I'm here, grasshopper. And this lazy grass as well, because sometimes I need that for things. So if I'm passing some, I may as well grab it. But yeah, now I'm going to go back to the... So does that mean that I've now got all... Because I think I had everything for the rat as well. I had the purification, I had the skeleton key, restorative idol, and then the ram is just the... Yeah, I think I think the restorative dolls were literally everything that was blocking me on all of those quests. So now it's going to be very simple to get them finished. Super simple. So I'll head back to, I think, the village first and we'll go and see the... We'll go and help the black sheep because that was the first one I did. And then we'll go and uh, sort out that rat. I'm hoping that these are some of the final quests as well in this chain so we might just get a load of stuff proper finished off today. We shall see. Oh, hi! Did you need a lift for the secret grove? Yes, I do. Secret grove. Right, so, restorative doll. As good as new. A few splints and some elbow grease and she's all ready to go. Wow, really? Thank you so much. What can I ever do to repay you? I think together we should repay that stinking ram for causing this mess in the first place. I have an idea to knit him a cardigan he won't soon forget. Why, a special gift? That's a lovely idea. But it'll need a personal touch. Some wool collected from those dim-witted followers of his should do the trick. Hmm, the ram guards his flock like an ogre. You won't be able to get a single hair off him with him watching. That's a problem. Oh, unless you find his missionaries. Sometimes the ram sends out loyal sheep to spread the word. Why? I bet if anyone could find them, it's you. You found me. After all, I know where there's one of them in the graveyard. He spouts his gibberish to the corners of the world. Where are these missionaries? Nearer than you think. They usually travel to the docks, the graveyard, and the market. A shame they won't have the ram's protection. Uh -huh. I've got plenty of fleece here, but if you have something special in mind, put it in the spinning wheel. So three sheets will. The crypt crawler silk, we can put that in. Crypt crawlers walk the line between the mundane and the supernatural, and the silk holds the key to that boundary. Okay, so we need a metamorphosis elixir. I might be able to do that. Let's have a look. I sometimes have the stuff for things. Oh, uh, I need to go find a dryad. Okay, so we're going to need to make one of these guys. Alright, let's go set a dryad on fire. There's one like right by the thing in the forest, right by the uh, fast travel, so it shouldn't take me too long to get one. Hello, Dryad! He's on fire, I got his little drop loads of sticks to you. Right, got his dryad fruit, lovely. That'll allow me to make the metamorphosis Alexia. 
beautiful. And then it was three of the missionaries. So I will have to find out how to get their, their fur. I am really hoping it's just that I can pluck their fur and not that I have to get a grabber for each one because that could be very annoying. I have a feeling. Let's go find the one in the graveyard. There'll be one in each spot, no doubt. I've definitely seen one up here. Hello. Who's there? Show yourself in the name of Ram. No need to be jumpy, my friend. I'm just a lonely young woman coming to grieve. Oh, I thought you were one of those nasty ghosts. Usually this place is pretty dull, but lately there's been nothing but angry spirits. He glances over his shoulder in a near panic. Oh, why'd the ram send me here? This place gives me the creeps. You scratch your cauldron in thought as the sheep jumps in a nearby patch of mist. Hmm. Looks like all I need to do is give this chap a good fright and his wool will be mine for the picking. Haunted a mannequin. Okay. Oh my goodness me. Haunted mannequin. How do we make that then? Really? Right then, so we need the ectoplasm, uh, so we need the mummified head, I forget what that is. Right, so let's make some spirit salts. Let's get a mummified head. Hello! have a friend didn't he right so I've got the mummified uh, head so then I need to find one of the antlered ghosts and they were a an exorcism charm I've lost again there they are that's a black rose, so I'm going to need some bait sticks. Let's hope, let's hope that this uh, bat, when he comes down, has two wings and not one. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to the swamp and get more stuff. But if he gives us two wings, then we're okay. I imagine they're each going to have their own thing going on. Ah, two wings. Very nice. Thank you. Two ectoplasm as well. Thank goodness. Right, I think I could do with the healing myself too, because uh, actually, these players are quite scary. Okay, so now we're making one of these guys. Hey, I finally used the doll. <laughs> I've been carrying around for ages. The dreadful doll. <laughs> Horrify! The skittish sheep nearly jumps out of his pelt in horror. Aye! Now's my chance to shear his wool before he comes back to his senses. You quickly snip a handful of wool from his quaking body. Forget this, I don't care how angry the ram gets. I'm going back to the flock. That's sheep wool from missionary number one. Missionary number two will be in the marketplace. Is there a way through, straight through to the marketplace or...? I never remember. Oh well, let's just head. So they never remember the difference between the village and the marketplace. I'm terrible. And of course I got it the wrong way around. Of course it's gonna be the... The village first. Well, I don't know actually. No, maybe not. No, oh, that's the forest. No, I don't need the forest. No, 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 no. Not the forest. The marketplace. Oh, it's right the way up there. And then we've got to go to the docks. Right, 
place. I don't know where the the ram in the marketplace actually is. The one in the graveyard stood out to me as being an oddity. Whereas, like, all sorts of stuff will be around here. So it didn't probably stand out too much as an oddity that a ram might, uh, like a sheep or whatever, might be around here. Just to the docks. I'll find him. Where has he gone? How? That's not a sheep. There's a pig with a bat. That's probably the mountain area up there, actually. That's the one area that we're actually missing, we haven't done yet. Where are you? Little sheepy sheep. Still haven't got the goose egg. I'm sure at some point I'll need to get the goose egg. Oh, by the way, while I was researching, one thing I did find while I was researching is that there is no way to get into the gate behind the well at the moment, so I'm not going to even try with that. That's apparently been confirmed as something you can't do because people have been like losing their mind over that. Like, oh, can't do it. Why? Why can't I do this? So there's loads of stuff about that all over the place, but there's nothing about. <laughs> hey, is this sheep? Oh, there he is. I can hear him bleating at me. Good grief. I should listen to my ears, right? Excuse me, madam. Have you heard about the ram, the one true leader? Oh, truly, I don't have time for this. Just look at all these clothing stores around us. It's it's revolting. So many patterns. Oh, my eyes water with rage. Oh, I'll show you some my watering patterns, all right? A good magic show ought to set you spinning. Prestigitation deck recipe. Okay. So we're going to make some cards. A glitter bomb, a shiny lure, and skipper scale? Ooh. Alright, well, let's try the shiny lure. The shiny lure needs. Work a work. No, I'm good. The glitter bomb requires. Need to find it on the list. Hot. Okay. I need some clay and stuff for a pot. Oh, I'd find that in the graveyard. I'd find that probably the well would be the place, wouldn't it? And we'll need to get loads of cinders as well because I go through them so fast all the time. So let's go back to the forest. And just get a bunch of clay again and a bunch of cinders. I was so annoyed by the end of last time with that the cat treat going missing. And again, I don't know if that was a, something silly that I did. I dropped it somewhere or fed it to something I shouldn't have done by accident. Really not sure. It's so, we're in the forest. I'm running low on these, actually, the leaves. I need them for my healing potions because I keep getting hit by stuff. Well, let's head on down the well. We'll grab some clay. Like a million of these empire nuts, so that's fine. Like I say, they're conkers. They're not empire nuts. They're conkers. A trowel away for some reason. I don't like the way that it changes around in that inventory. I, I have a strong suspicion that might be why I'm losing things. Just seem, it's a cl it just seems clumsy and clunky. Plenty, plenty of shiny stones. Yeah, we'll just get all the clay from down here. Then I'll go and get all of the... Um, I'll just go and empty out all of the fireplaces. And usually that lasts me a little bit of time. You need a lot more clay than you need. Uh... I might be able to do that with a skeleton key. Though. Can I make a skeleton key? No, I need another mummified head. I could try though. The one I have, I could make another one. Well, on, let's give it a try. 
got it. That was quite nice. Well, I'll have to go and get another mummified head. But they're only they're only uh, salts, embalming salt things. So spirit salt. If I make another spirit salt, I know I can replace it. But yeah, we can go to the graveyard and replace that on the way. All right, let's get these frogs on the way as well. You never know when you're going to need a frog. I would definitely say go down the well if you are running out of frogs, or just like keep reloading areas. But yeah, as I say, I'm I'm told that you can't get past the gate, so that's why I was like, well, I'll try the chest, but I'm not sure about the gate. And that's it with people who've even finished the game and they've gone back and they're like, how come I can't get past that? And they're like, haha, it's not something that's in there right now. It's like, well, why did you put it there then? Right, so... I need to head to somewhere with lots of campfires. Like I say, there's a really good area for that. Just up here. Lakeshore Path. If you want to get embers, it is the place to be. This is a camp, and camps have lots of fires. I'm not going to go around after the soot moats because I've caught so many of them, I'm sure I'm going to have enough. If I don't have enough, I will eat my words and come back here and, and get them, but you know. Got how many? 21 of them. <laughs> so I think we'll be good for a while. However, what I will get is these uh, the reeds because they are always being used for wicker work and they're very, very useful. Okay, good, all done. So now I have enough for a couple of pots, hopefully. Did I need... I think I'm sure I needed two. I can't remember why I needed two, but I'm sure I did. Let me see. What was I doing? I was doing... The wool from the Rams Missionaries, and I need... Oh, yeah, I needed the cards. And for the cards, I needed the glitter potion thingy. To bomb, so we've got our glitter bomb. Lovely. So then I need to head over to the docks and see what I need to get those scales. Well, if you're going to be right by me, I will catch you. Like, I was giving you a pass there, soot spirit, but you know, you're just making it too easy. You respawned! Ah! I just set you on fire a minute ago! Okay, I head back to the docks and I'm gonna see how to get... I, I don't... I don't know how to get them. So it's gonna be interesting. I dread to think what the last three are gonna be like. The last... sorry, the last four. Because it's 12 souls, isn't it? And I'm up to soul, like... These are seven and eight. Right, so. The captain, he's never been happier to be back on shore. Ah, It's probably those guys, isn't it? A shore skipper. We need some crab traps for that. And for that, I need some barnacles. I don't have any barnacles. Alright then. Let's get some barnacles. You find the captain and his daughter in a loving embrace. Oh, die. I just knew you'd come back. My sweet little sea star, I'm so sorry I made you wait for so long. Can you ever forgive this old wash-up? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Embalming <laughs> salts. 
actually quite useful to get embalming salts because they are uh, not so not so obvious, not so easy to get. There's only a couple of places you can get them. However, what I really do need is uh, these barnacles. Ow! No, get off me. <laughs> I need the barnacles, and I think I can get them off here. Need the barnacles for my crab traps. Right, so should be able to make a crab trap or two now. I might need two. I'll see how many I get before I go around like wasting all my stuff. But let's go and get one of those little dancing fish. No, I don't need a crab. I need a dancing fish. Skipper, where are they now? Of course, they're all gone now. Of course they are. Ah, it's a deep one. Ah, it's a crab. Everything's out to get me here. Ah. All right, there's one. Come on. Oh, you dropped two. Very nice. Uh. <laughs> I say uh a lot in this, don't I? I'm like, I know I needed it for something, but I'm not sure what. Let's uh, track the ram's quest, because that's what we're doing right now. Oh, yeah, it's the, the playing cards. I remember now. I remember now. There we are. Playing cards. There'll be a sheep at the dock there as well. So we should have a look around for him. Or her. Probably her, actually, if it's a sheep, not a ram. Okay, not seeing them there. It might be at the lagoon though. They said the docks, but I, that doesn't necessarily preclude the lagoon. And to listen for bars as well. But at the moment, all I'm hearing is roars. Hello. Hey, hey. You know what stinks around here? Your breath. Maybe cut back on the crabgrass. Aha, very funny. I'm talking about all these mismatched folk walking around like disgusting individuals. Don't they care about unity at all? Aren't they lonely? Don't they want to be part of something bigger? Haha, <laughs> how are they not full to the brim with the pure horror of existential dread? You leave the sheep to spiral deeper into his own metaphysical pit. Mm, this fellow seems to be projecting some deep-seated issues. Perhaps if I give him a little push, you won't mind if I pilfer some of his wool. Bottled despair. Okay. How do you make bottled despair? I have all the things I need for Bottle Despair from when I accidentally got that ghost, with the exception of some weird water, which I can make with the exception of some water. Now then. I'm sure there was like a water pipe around here somewhere, but maybe not. I always forget. I'm sure there was one in the village though, the ram. By the ram, there's definitely some water. 100%, so we'll just go there. That's fine. Or to the market, you know, where there's probably not any water. If there's a choice between the village and the market, I always pick the wrong one. <laughs> Seems to be just the thing with this game right now. Wasn't there like a well by the bank in the marketplace? Was there a bank in the marketplace? Or was the bank in the village? Yeah, I think all the water sources are in the village. Irritatingly. I could be wrong, but... However, this guy... I've got the, 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 the deck for him, so let's... Uh... The chunk! The sheep goes cross-eyed at the blinding display of pure magical speculation as you shuffle the deck of enchanted cards. Ah, oh, it's so high, I can't see! That's right, keep your eyes on the pretty colours while I shear you bald. Before the sheep can recover his eyesight, you snip a healthy patch of wool from his backside. Ah, I can still see the colours even when I close my eyes! Out of my way, I can't preach like this, I've got to get back to the flock! Okay. So I just need the water for the dockside one. So we'll go to the village. 
We'll get the water. And then we'll fast travel back to the docks. I think, like, there was a bank and it had a well in front of it. I'm sure. Can I, like... Oh, no. I, I think, actually, I might go to the tap then that's in the, the market square. Or the well that's in the market square, sorry. I knew there was something in the square, okay? Shush. Okay, so we've got water, which means I can make weird water, which means I can make the bottled despair, and we can take that back to the docks. Now, where was the... Okay, so if I go up here, there's a fast travel. I wonder if there's a dog there. Nothing to see here, Mom. I bet that hot-headed ram is behind this somehow. <laughs> I love them. You know I need all of those I can get. All right, back to the docks. And then we've done all the ram stuff. Hopefully, hopefully this episode will finish the ram. Last episode we finished the fish. This episode will finish the ram. To the docks. And hopefully it won't take too long to finish the rat after that as well. I really hope so. So we're going to take that back to the sheep and make a sweater. Out of my way, you crabby little dude. Bottle despair! The sheep's eyes glaze over as he looks deep into his soul and sees only nothingness. What's the point of it all? I am so alone. Poor fella, he'll feel better when the curse lifts, but it'll be too late for his wool. Snip, snip. You collect a clump of wool and a pat the sheep on his fluffy head. Hey there, things aren't so bad. Why don't you run off home to your own flock? You're right, maybe I'm not so alone after all. The sheep wipes a dewy tear from his face and lopes off towards the village. Lovely. Right, I got all my sheep's wool now. And I think I had everything else. So now it's back to the village, I think, where I will find the, yeah, it's definitely the village, where I'll find the uh, gargoyle and we'll go back to the secret grove and we'll uh, make a nice shiny jumper. I think, I think the gargoyle was up here. Yes. Hello. Oh, hi. Did you need a lift out to the secret grove? Yes, I did. I did indeed. Right. So the last part of the spinning wheel is the three bits of wool. The three lots of wool taken from the ram's flock are most eager to please any hand that guides them. I've got plenty of fleece here. Oh, okay. Metamorphosis elixir. And really make the garments pop. Okay, with all the goods at hand, you wave the black sheep over to the spinning wheel to get started. A bit stuffer than I'm used to, but I can work with this. She rolls up her sleeves and prepares the bobbin. As the black sheep manages the wheel, you assist by weaving your own magic into the fibres as you feed them through the device. Dazzling colours of every hue shoot out of the whirling wheel, sending sparks dancing into the underbrush. Soon a large ball of rainbow tinted yarn is wound together. Wow, we didn't even have to use any dye. I could use your help any time. She gathers up the yarn and admires it before handing it to you. The mesmerising colours seem to dance across the threads. Take it. My thanks to you. I couldn't have done it without your skills at the wheel. Say, you should think about returning to the village soon. Your little doggy friend was quite worried about you last time I saw him. Oh my gosh, I was in such a panic I completely forgot about him. But what about the ram and his flock? I'm a goner if we go back there. You leave that to me. Alright, let's go get that ram. And then we'll... Spend the rest of the episode working on the rat. Revisit the ram in the village square. Hello, ram. Colour is the path to division, and division is the bedfellow of damnation. Bah, bah, bah. I have no idea what I did for his voice before. 
You twist the length of your multicolored thread into a makeshift lasso. The shifting colors make the thread appear to be alive. What nonsense! I'll just loop my magic yarn around each of these sheep and show them the world is more than black and white. Entwine! Entwine. I'm turning them all rainbow! Rainbowing up the sheep. Rainbow up, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow up. Stepping in, stopping in the middle of his sermon, the ram notices his flock is no longer paying attention to him. The flock turns away from the ram's ravings, fully enraptured by the colourful thread. Hey, what are you fools doing? This is the black sheep's work? Wow, we just assumed it was ugly because the ram said so. No, you idiots, it's wrong. Have you forgotten everything I've taught you? Ha ha, look at all these wild colours. I never knew the wool could be so neat. <laughs> Stop looking at the colours. Amongst the commotion, the voice of the black sheep pipes up. Oh, um, thank you. I'm so glad you all appreciate my handiwork. Are you kidding? This is the most amazing wall we've ever seen. Where can we get some more? Stop, listen to me. Oh, wow, look at all these customers. <laughs> we need to get that shop of yours up and running again. You're right. Oh, my, this is also overwhelming. Looks like it's time to roll up my sleeves and get back to work. Does that mean you'll reopen your wool shop? We'll help you fix it up again if it means we can get more of these fantabulous colours. Ah! The ram swings his bronze bell harder and harder, desperately trying to be heard over the joyful celebrations of his flock. Yeah, I think we've messed them up now. Oh my, what in the dickens happened? I guess he clanged that awful bell of his just a little too hard, gave his own head a proper ringing till it couldn't take any more. You glance over to the ram's empty soapbox. A fitting end, I suppose. A shepherd is nothing without his flock. Okie dokie, done. You pick up the bell, but not... But not a sound emanates from it. Something is muffled. His voice. You turn it over to look inside and find that the metal clangor is covered in a familiar, bristly white wool. The soul of the ram. Ram is done. So it's now just the rat to finish. Let's go to the journal and remind myself what I need. Okay, um, I think I have all the things I need, actually. So we just need to head on back to the graveyard. Happens to be just down here. Spooky, spooky grave. Actually, we need to go to the mansion, not the graveyard. Straight to the mansion. Let's track that. Oh, I need another skeleton key, actually. But I did make sure when I used the skeleton key to open the chest that I had some more spirit salt so I could replace. So we do actually need to go and um, just quickly nip into the graveyard and find a head. Mummified head. Worth it to open the chest though. It had loads of money in it. They're usually up here, aren't they? Oh yeah, cool. You can manage to get two if you do it right. Owie. I'm more hurty now. Right, so. Back to the mansion. I have a spare mummified head in case I need one for anything, but uh, hopefully I won't. But if I do, I have it. I don't know why I say hopefully I won't. I don't really care if I do. I've got it. Right. I need my lantern now, don't I? To get past all the stuff. Uh, let's put that in instead of the net. I'm unlikely to need the net right at this minute in time. Those should stack. Um, oh, and instead of that snap trap, let's pop in the water. Okay. So let's uh, firstly, let's get the lantern out so that I can run around. Okay, so a good cleaning water to get the spick and spam purification water.
You clean away the grit and grime to reveal a proud lion staring back at you. This crest looks like it matches one of the burial rooms in the crypt. Lovely. Light the uh, lantern again. And the other two were upstairs, I think. There was a painting. Uh, I needed to restore that, so I think that was a restorative doll there. Colour and light flood back into the fading painting to reveal a content-looking family. You recognise one of the younger girls by the shock of hair and brooch on her chest. That must be our wailing wraith, a granddaughter by the looks of it, so she must be on the lower tiers of the crypt. Okay. Lower, lower tiers of the crypt with a lion. And then a skeleton key to get in there. You crack open the chest to find a collection of mouldy papers and bills, but a heavy book at the bottom looks promising. In the cracked leather-bound tome, you browse through long forgotten obituaries, and we mourn her death, the third of her siblings to pass. Much beloved, she will long be remembered for her beautiful singing voice and tireless pursuit of justice. Sounds like our banshee, the third to die. That will mean her casket will be the third one in her row. Lion, third in the row, lower crypt. That's everything I need to know. The Banshee's body is buried under the crest of the lion. She's a granddaughter, so she'll be on the bottom row. And she was the third one to pass away. Right. Let's get down to the crypt, then. We're nearly at the end of the episode, but we'll, I'll see how like how quick this is to do, and whether it gives me more things to do. We might have to finish off the rat next time. Oh, you're back. Find anything out about our predicament? It seems like you've got a grave robber on the loose. The banshee had a brooch stolen from her family crypt. A grave robber? Oh, damn those despicable degenerates. With the increasing ghosts, I haven't been able to do my nightly patrols. I need to get to the crypt and find her body. The thief might have left something behind. Well, good luck. That place has more spiders than I have liver spots, so you'll understand if I stay behind. I will understand it completely. I don't particularly like those Crypt Walker things myself. They're pretty nasty. They'd bite my butt if they could. Uh, into the Crypt. Oh yeah, you can go in from behind there. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, let's see. So I need the Lion Room. So that's a Pig Room. There's the Bird Room. Shushu. And this is the lion room. Okay. It's on a row for grandchildren, so that would be the bottom row. Third sibling to die. I'm guessing this one. Doesn't seem like the right casket. Well, maybe this one. Doesn't seem like the right casket. Hmm. So we're no, it's in the lion room. Oh, is this maybe the lion room through here? Oh, hang on. We've got ones in here too. There we are. Wall crypt. You dig your nails underneath the loose plaque and begin to pull. The rusty bolts pop off the corners of the end cap as the whole thing rips from the mossy wall. You toss away the grave cover and peer inside the dark hollow, holding your lamp aloft. Dozens of small beady eyes blink back at you. Rats. You quickly jump aside as a torrent of vermin come pouring out from the coffin. Filthy little biters come to pill for more graves. Squeaking and hissing, they flow like some lumpy liquid, rushing back towards the entrance. You get the feeling these rats are far more organised than any normal pest. Where are you off to, little devils? Running back to your master, perhaps? Let's follow them. I'll wait for them to catch up because I'm not entirely happy with the uh, Crypt Walker there. They go up into the graveyard then? I'm not sure like where they went. There they are, okay. I'm gonna go straight through like every 
thing that's going to hurt me as well. So I've got to be careful. Okay, they went into there. Knotted brush. You track the small rats into thorny bramble, their bodies whirling in a venomous mass. This does not, however, seem to be their permanent nest. If you could only flush them out, perhaps they would flee to their true source. A good spark ought to set this dry tinder alight. Can't hide from me, beasts. Cinderbox. Should have enough stuff for one of those. Ah, fireflies. Darn it. I had to make one to get a dryad fruit, so I used a lot of fireflies up then. Back to the forest we go. I hate those mummified heads. They're so annoying. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. So we're going to get some uh, fireflies from the forest. Make a cinder box and flush out those darn rats. So, yeah, we got time. We got time. There should be a load near the frogs down the bottom. Doesn't take so long when you know where things are. Done. We need some more rodent lard soon, though. I figure there's no reason not to catch the rest. Yeah. Just light those rats on fire. Little ratty, ratty, ratties, come to me. I love how I was looking around for the fast travel point and it's like literally right, right next to the tree. Yep. Yep. Clever sheet up. Ignite. The brush is quickly subsumed in tongues of flame, scattering the rats beneath. The frenzied root is not without order, though. In a wave of fur and claws, they scramble through the graveyard towards the next hiding place. We are playing rat hide and seek right now. Okay. The horde of rats pour between the bars of this crumbling mausoleum, swirling in a gyre just out of reach. Once more, they have found temporary refuge. Such a closed in space is ripe for good smoking. They won't be able to hold their breath for long. Actually, I'll check it's a smoke pellet. But yeah, it does. All my clay used up, though. The smoke emitting from the pellet is thick and concentrated. Even though they are below the worst of it, the choking fumes are enough to flush the rats out. Once more, they rush forth, this time fleeing towards the shadow of the ruined church. Now I've got to get through the gate. The flood of rats squeeze through the bars of a great brass gate and disappear into the ruins of a squat abandoned church. Heavy chain binds up the gate and the rusted padlock is well beyond accepting any sort of key. Something more potent will be needed to open it. Acidic unguent recipe. Acidic unguent So, What is required for one of those? Loads of water, no doubt. I think we might need to finish this later because uh, we are coming up to the 50 minute mark and I've got to make weird water. I have no clay left. Let the horse make yourself horrific potion. So what we'll do next time is we'll... I do have all the stuff for uh, weird water and for a soporific potion, except for just water. So we'll head down the well. We'll grab some more clay. We'll get a couple of things of, uh, of water. I mean, assuming, actually, that all of the, these things around here don't have clay in them. If they do, then it might be fine. But they do have clay. Okay. Well, this might not be so bad. I'm gonna go around and grab all the things then. Grab all the little piles of dirt and see if we can get some clay. Okay. That was enough for one. 
I think I need two though. one more and I should have everything I need and there's a water pipe there as well so actually there's everything I need is in the graveyard which is really nice for once everything is just in the area <laughs> that I need it to be in right so uh, we need to make sulfurific potion weird water Oh no, it was a potion of blight. Ah, I thought it was sulfuric water. I, I, I suck. And I don't have an eye of newt. We need to go to the swamp. That's fine. So I'm just going to end the episode stood next to the, uh, the fast travel point. So next episode, we'll go to the swamp. We'll go to the swamp. And we will... So this episode was all about getting the ram sorted, but we just didn't have quite enough time to finish the rats. But that's fine by me. We'll do that next time. And then we'll uh, go and put all their souls in. And we will start on the, the final third of the game. Which will be really, really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.